Okay, um, I'm going to go over some things with the uh, carburetor. I have a Holly here. Um, I'm going to show you how to kind of basically set it up. Um, I got mine set up just fine, just right, uh, except for the, uh, the choke here. It's way too rich. Someone had it set. You can see that little mark right there. Let's see, if I can get, see that little line right there? That's at least supposed to be in the middle. So whoever set this up originally uh, had that choke, you know, fully closed. So we're going to be able to turn it that way. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that's about in the middle. So we're going to try and turn it. Ugh, it's still a little tight, but... I don't know how much I can get. Because right now, I'm producing way too much uh, choke in the morning, in the when I first started. And it's kind of bogging down. So I'm gonna adjust that a little bit more until it gets in the middle. I'll need both hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I adjusted it. Where's my flashlight? Now you can see. I adjusted it more towards the middle and you can see the flap it moved up when I opened it up just real tight to turn but anyway this this flap opened up it was completely closed before so that should help uh, fix my starting problem there so you want it that little line to be pretty close right in the middle so you can see, I went actually a little bit further to the right to open up the choke for it's not, you know, choking off the engine too, too much. I live in a warmer climate. I'm down here in Las Vegas, so it's pretty much warm all the time. Okay. Here we are again. Okay, so I'm going to kind of show you how to set up your the initial setup for your Harley carburetor. Um, I was still having problems in the morning with the side pipe it was still blowing a little little too much uh, smoke too much fuel so I had to adjust my um, my choke a little bit well anyway but so I'm just gonna go over this while I'm here for you people out in YouTube land here is the initial setup so you want to start with your your idle screw and you want to back it all the way off uh, mine's set up just right, so I don't want to mess with it again, but Sorry, you just go in there Take it all the way down And then bring it up once once this lever is loose and it doesn't go down up or down anymore Then just come back a full turn 360 360 turn and then that'll get your initial setup for that um, Your idle mixture screws Right down in here, you can see. Okay, you wanna close them all the way off. Not tight, just to where it gets snug. And then you wanna come back 360 degrees and then another 180, so a full one and a half turns and just set it there. There's one on each side. Some might have four, just depends on what kind of carb setup you have. And then now that you got that set up, you wanna set your accelerator pump. To where let's see if I can get down in here see you can see right here you just you just want it to be loose to where you baby could get like a piece of paper or something in there you know to where it's not pushing up or down on it now if you need to adjust anything there's a bolt head down here put a wrench on there a wrench up on top here of course, you just turn it just up or down. <clears throat> okay. And then on the floats, you'll have, uh, I have windows on mine. You might have a, like an actual bolt that goes in there. So you'd want to take it out. Take it out. And if fuel's coming out already, uh, you know that your float's too high. And if there's no fuel, once you shake it, and no fuel comes out, then you know it's too low. So 
to set your float, you're gonna put a uh, wrench on here and then screw this. Make sure you have a towel ready because it will leak out gasoline. So I'll have a towel there to catch it. And you're gonna adjust it up or down, just uh, depends on what you need and just retighten it. And then once you get, once you get to the level, basically you can kind of see right here, but just a little bit higher, basically just underneath, kind of in between there, the bottom of this and there. Basically all you want to do is you just want to be able to rock it back and forth to where, just a little bit to where fuel will spill out. And that's how you'll set your float. And then on the choke, you'll notice there's this little line. Can you see it right kinda? Anyway, right there, maybe you can see it without the flashlight. Very hard to see. There's a little line right here. Now we got the flashlight on there, see if you can see it. See where that line is? Mine was all the way up past here. So I don't even know how this thing like ran and everything. So that's that's what was blowing smoke. So all you what you want to do is you just want to take these bolts and there's a third one underneath. Or not this one. This one right here. This one right here. Loosen them up. And then you can turn this back and forth. If you go to the left, it's gonna open up your choke. So this will open up more if you turn it this way. It'll close the choke if you turn it counterclockwise. So if you turn it more counterclockwise, you're gonna have more choke. And it's, you know, gonna take a little bit warmer or a little bit longer for that choke to release. And so that, that's been, I think, my problem. And when I take mine down the road, it kinda still, it's a little too, too rich when you first start it. And, uh, you know, I don't need that choke closed all the way. <clears throat> okay, so then once you get all that set up, oh, with, the, with this, uh, you want it right in the middle to begin with. Okay, and then move it one notch or two notches, whatever. Either way, uh, depending on your environment. It's warm here in Las Vegas. I really don't need the choke all the time. Uh, I want to keep a little bit of a choke, just in case I do go somewhere, or if it does get a little bit colder than normal. And I do have a little bit of choke. So once you get all of that set up, then you're gonna go back over here. Uh, you know, you're gonna button everything up, make sure everything's uh, tight, make sure your, your caps are back in for the float. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start it up and then you're gonna adjust your idle screw down to 700. So back and forth, you know, until you get to about that 700. Okay. Once you get about 700, uh, you want to do this when it's warmed up, of course. So let it warm up. Uh, get down to about 700. And then you're going to go into your air mixture uh, idler screws here. So so then you'll, you'll adjust them either left or right. And basically what you're doing is you're just adjusting it, you know, just a little bit. And then go back over to the other side just a little bit until the engine just starts kind of bogging down a little bit. Once it bogs down, I like just to bring it up maybe a quarter, half inch, or a quarter, <laughs> a quarter or a half turn. Just uh, depends on, you know, your, your liking, your setup. Um, and so that'll get you set up for that. And then, and then basically you're just fine tuning. You're going to go drive it, mess around with it, see what you like. Adjust, adjust, adjust. You know, so hopefully now that I got this adjusted, maybe my uh, my choke won't be so bad in the morning. And my problems when I got this, whoever, someone did a great job building the engine, if they, because they went through it and redid things in the engine, but the carburetor, they had the floats all the way down. I don't even know how it was running, to tell you the truth, because the float was way down. This was adjusted all the way, so <laughs> all the way to the left. So I had high, high fuel. It was super rich, and I think it was just from this holly 
or this uh, Holly um, electric choke being adjusted so much. It, it really ran like a dog when I first got it. So a lot of your problems can be fixed through your carburetor. Uh, like I said, just make sure both sides here for your float or even, and you need to be on a flat surface to get, to get the best, um, you know, to get the best level and then adjust both of these tops to get your floats. Um, that was my main issue there. Once I had that in, then I went over and changed this, the idler screws. There's another one down right here. The air mixture screws. And those were way off also. Like I said, I don't even know how this car was running. So. And then, uh, of course that and the accelerator pump. Now I got it tuned in. I just need to finish up my choke. And we're gonna see. All right, hope that helps anybody. Um, like I said, you wanna keep this about 700 RPM maybe up to eight um, I like a little bit more I keep messing with it back and forth right now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little high but like I said I'm still tweaking with it so teach their own all right hope this hope this helps everybody uh, that watches this and maybe it can kind of get you closer to what you need to do thanks guys Okay, so I just started it. That fixed my problem initially. I think I need a little bit more choke. So I just need to go one more notch. You can see that notch. I'm going to turn it one more notch to the left. And uh, see if that fixes it. Because right away, look how, how open my, my choke didn't even choke. <laughs> so I think I need to come back just one or two notches uh, like I said before it was all the way <laughs> it was all the way down in here so that was just no good uh, so I'm gonna adjust it one more time and see what we get I have to let it cool down of course and uh, go from there okay after playing with it I went about a notch and a half you can see, let's see if I can get this. All right, you can see that notch where it is. And you can see where the middle notch is. It's really hard to focus, but anyway, I'm just up about one and a half from center to the left. And that seems to have fixed my, my choke issue. So there you go, and I'm idling roughly about about 800. Um, I don't know. I might adjust it a little bit here and there after it warms up a little bit more again. But I think we got it in the sweet spot now. All right, guys. Once again, thanks for following me and my crazy adventures here. All right, see you next time. I just took it for a good 30-minute uh, drive, and this is what I got these for. That way you don't burn your leg. Now if I was to touch the chrome, <laughs> it would burn right off. But So, yep, anyway, uh, I think that adjustment on the carburetor got it all fixed so I think we got it all good I, I am gonna bring down the idle just a hair and I think I got me or I think I got my uh, setup all correct so because I'm bouncing around from about 900 so I think I just want to bring it down just a hair so I think that I'm just gonna do that real quick other than that runs great all right thanks guys